A steam locomotive needs a significant amount of steam to operate effectively, and so their boiler determines much of their performance. Usually, the bigger the boiler, the more power an engine will have. However, there's a limit to how big a boiler can be before it becomes much too inefficient and cumbersome. So if you want to make an engine more powerful, and making the boiler bigger isn't an option, how about just adding another one? In 1888, Belgian state railways were in need of a new fleet of fast passenger engines. On its own, easy enough, but the engines were expected to traverse long grades of 0.5% while maintaining speeds of 56 miles an hour and a smooth ride. On top of that, the railway wanted the engines to run on very poor quality coal. The end result was a peculiar 242 design, fitted with outside frames, a wide firebox, and driving wheels measuring 2,100 millimeters in diameter. Classed as Type 12s, they were capable of doing the work needed of them, with 114 built in total, three of which ended up in Poland, but they weren't without their drawbacks. The design was notably wider at the back than at the front, but despite that managed to still be quite front-heavy. Their biggest drawbacks were their fireboxes and boilers. The boiler was set low in the engine's frames to lower the engine's center of gravity, but due to the size of the engine's wheels, the boiler had to be relatively small in order to fit between them, 1.3 meters in diameter to be exact. This, combined with the poor drafting in the firebox, made them difficult to fire properly and maintain sufficient power. In an attempt to rectify the issue, Société de Saint-Léonard built a modified version of the Type 12 also in 1888. Because a larger boiler couldn't be fitted without making the engine too top-heavy, it was instead fitted with two additional boilers on either side of the main central one, all three sharing the same smoke box and firebox. These side boilers were 0.7 meters in diameter. To accommodate the additions, the engine was fitted with a new cab, wider chimney, wider firebox, and additional smoke box doors to help with boiler maintenance. Despite its unconventional layout, it proved to be more powerful than its Type 12 counterpart, able to develop 1,235 horsepower compared to the 1,189 horsepower of the standard design. 46 horsepower, however, wasn't enough of an improvement for Belgian state railways to use the design. The railway actively didn't want to use this three-boiled freak, but ended up taking ownership of it, numbering it 195. Though capable of keeping up with the rest of the Type 12s, 195 was greatly despised by many footplate crews. The additional boilers made the drafting problems even worse, and because of how imbalanced the side boilers were compared to the main one, steaming and maintaining consistent boiler pressure became a massive issue. Maintenance became quite problematic as well. Not only did the engine have two more boilers that needed servicing, but their position at either side of the main boiler meant there was no room for running boards, making accessing the top of the boiler or its domes much more of a hassle. In the end, 195 spent most of its running life on the Brussels to Onsted line. Most of the Class 12s worked until the late 1920s before retiring, with the last to go in 1931. 195's career, however, ended rather abruptly in 1902, when one of the side boilers exploded during service. No deaths or serious injuries were reported, but the railway was fed up with the engine and so had it scrapped. Most other engines before and after that had, quote, additional boilers fitted were more often just steam reservoirs as opposed to actual boilers. The closest thing to a three-boiler design to have been built since 195 is perhaps the Franco Crosti boilered engines of Italy but the function of both designs were fundamentally different. The rest of the Type 12s were eventually modified and rebuilt with better boilers and had the grates in their fireboxes fixed, resulting in much better performance than their original design. In the end, while 195's triple boiler setup did prove to be more powerful, the fact a simple rebuild was able to achieve nearly the same results just goes to show that Sometimes, the answer to improving yourself isn't always to just add more, but to take a step back and rework what matters. Subscribe for more.